There's an awful lot of uh, there's an awful lot of AM today on uh, various bands, and I'm tuning this in with with the sideband. Uh, but here's what the scope looks like for an AM signal. It's about 10 kilohertz wide. Now let's see. This is two, four, six. I guess that's two. Four, six, eight, ten. No, it must be here. About two, four, six, eight, ten. As you can see, these guys are pretty wide. So I'm going to go through the spectrum scope, getting back to the five. Tune it in AM. You hear a lot of them on ham radio. The BC one G. And in this case, the filter is a lot wider. BC five hundred G. BC. G Y me and Bob picked And you can change the W but O A M we change the way it sounds pick one of them up years ago. Yeah. And you can change the transmit or the bandwidth here. catalog was even cooler on receive. What was that model number of the mod, uh, mod monitor that you mentioned? So we'll go back they to sideband since you can tune in AM with sideband. Guess you can't talk to the guys that way. I'm gonna click on center and go back to this mode and look for some other AM. Here you can tell this one, this has a carrier in the middle of it. The sideband doesn't. This one looks like it's pure sideband here. Let me tune that one in by using the uh, mouse. So this is definitely uh, sideband. But this one with the solid line going down on the spectrum scope you can definitely tell that there's an AM carrier in there. So that's 885. Here's another one here. Another AM. There's another AM here. So there's a lot of AM here on 80 meters today. I don't know about uh, 40 meters. Let's see what's going on here on 40 meters. Can't really hear much at all on 40 meters. Turn the preamp up. Oh, the attenuator needs to be off. Turn up the RF gain. No, no evidence of uh, AM here really. So going back to 80 meters, and if I speed up the scope here a little bit, set the speed from slow to fast, it'll show you uh, all of the different AM carriers here. This is uh, the band going from 3750 to 4. If I click on this again, I can go from 3.5, which is the uh, advanced band. And if I click on this, I guess this is the whole band. But this is how you can use the scope. And if you want to, you can uh, basically do a rough tuning here, and then change this from fixed to setter, and tune that in perfectly. Now we're tuned in. Now I wonder if this guy's part of the QSO. We'll see. So notice here in sideband, the filter's only 3.6, but in AM, the filter's a lot wider. Steve from up East Greenbush, and a whole bunch of familiar faces. It was a nice day, beautiful day for a ham fest. So you can also do this. Raise this out to about 25 kilohertz, and here you can see uh, going from 3.85 to pretty much 4, and you can see the uh, carrier showing here. That they were spinning in the opposite direction. 
Another one. Peter, that the new cycle has finally started. Anyway, good evening to everybody. Uh, generally nice conditions on the net this evening. Um, a little bit of uh, interference up above us. I just still use the uh, tool to filter and get rid of that. So, uh, um, everybody's, uh, so this looks like sideband good. because you can see there's a lot of energy down below this point. And it's going to be lower sideband here. Let me tune in sideband again. I'll tune that signal in. How about this one? Oops, he's gone. Okay, he's back. And these are kind of intermittent transmissions. And range that out to 50 kilohertz. This really widens the scope. Remember, we're in center scope. So there you go. You can use the uh, tuning. All I'm using is a mouse to tune this. Another AM signal. You can fine tune it. Put the cursor here and then rotate the mouse. Yeah. So. Have fun with AM, W6FCC. It's uh, March 24th, 2019. Just playing with uh, AM. There's a lot of AM today for some reason.